What is up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to the day 2 of our flutter versus kiwi challenge we are going a little bit uh, behind the schedule as i thought and i really wanted to go faster but what i did was uh, over the first day probably you'll find this uh, ex extra portion out in the full videos so there have been few developments over the first day so if you are watching this video for the first time i'll just quickly remind you what we are doing so we're actually building a flutter of uh, kiwi application and uh, for the first three days we're going to be building a kiwi application and build the same application again with flutter and discuss which is better like what are the qualities that flutter is actually winning and what are the qualities that kiwi actually winning so for the first day we did build a decent ui uh, we had three page ui and we built that and uh, i've made some progress on that for the second day being second day i'm going to be linking my kiwi application with the fast api endpoint so the fast api server is already being built you should be watching the day zero video for that so the fast api server is already running right now and i'm going to be trying to build a system where uh, i'm actually communicating in the fast api server doing a login going inside the home page and also going to the money transfer page so these three pages are now going to be running with the back and also integration with the backend is going to be the entire part of the second day all right so a couple of quick updates from where we left off in the day one i'm actually going to be from today running on a physical device yesterday we built the entire stuff on like a virtual uh, app screen but today i'm going to be running this on an, uh, on a real device so that we can actually uh, know or understand how what is the time that it takes to build and run and what are the other difficulties so in order to test it out i did spend some time uh, previously before this day started to do like a simple uh, debug run and uh, so this is the screen that i took a screenshot of this so it took me about 30 minutes to start the first build, uh, bulldozer run so basically if you are new to this you will be using a tool called as bulldozer to run the kiwi application or build it into a uh, apk and the apk is then pushed into our real device which is going to be a physical device in this example it's actually in one plus uh, three and it's going to run it's it took me about 30 minutes for this entire step to complete it downloaded the ndk download the sdk and it all sorts of reflection and then uh, did all sorts of c python conversion and finally it built my application and it pushed into their real device and the application crashed on the start so i had to do some debugging on that and this is the changes that you will be seeing from the day one to day two so i will obviously be uh, pushing all of this into a github uh, repository and give you guys the link in the description check that out so for the day two i have made few changes first change is that i have removed the khaki out like i am khaki is a tool like i told in the first day for uh, rapid or hot reload type of uh, ui building so i have removed that out and gone with the basic structure where you'll be having the main app and the build inside that and i'm actually loading all the kv files and then starting with my login page as the first screen i'm not having any other uh, structure here but now what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to be adding a screen manager and then i'm going to be probably working with that in the rest of this uh, entire application building the life cycle let's get started so all right folks so the screen manager is completed so what i did exactly was to create a screen manager which is basically like a screen handler like in think of that it will give you that transition and stuff like that very very easy to create so i created that and now it's time to work on our uh, linking process so what exactly i'm going to be doing here is that i have the fast api server running so i'll just quickly show it to you guys uh, if you guys are coming from the day zero video you'll know what we did on the day zero we created a fast api server uh, basically that uh, is going to have like five different endpoints one is for the login endpoint where you get the token and once you get the token uh, you will be able to now access multiple endpoints basically for credit history spend history and also probably sending money from one account to another so that's what we did on the day zero so i'm going to be integrating that right now into the application and also uh, like i said uh, we are going to be looking to build the application and push it into the bulldozer using the bulldozer push it into the uh, push it into the uh, real device i have the real device right here and that's going to be towards the end of this video so that tomorrow when we are actually trying to run the application uh, we don't hit multiple errors and things like that you'll try to iron it out as much as today so let's go and start working on that i'll try to create a simple utility uh, that will probably help me work on it and uh, probably that's what you're going to be doing
to you after about two hours of writing code i think i've completed the entire steps uh, meaning that i've uh, decided like I've, I've come up with the uh, complete steps to have a working example from the uh, login page to the money transfer page it's kind of very crude at this point of time but let me quickly show you guys an example of this um okay so this is the server it's running right here if you can see like a lot of debug pings and things like that this the server is still running so i'm not trying to like pull any uh, code of server okay i think i didn't show you the screen so this is the server which is running right here and uh, probably you guys can see that a lot of pings here a lot of uh, logs uh, not trying to show any kind of uh, hard coded code not trying to cheat or anything of that sort anyway so this is how the application is, has come up till this point of time um let me quickly trigger it and uh, all right so this is the application here uh we'll have it in the full screen itself so i'm going to be entering my user login i'm saying something like this and it takes me to the main screen which is the home page uh, does not look really pleasing and i really really know that but if you guys can see that uh this is actually the credit card history and this is like a spend history okay i, I guess i'm missing and uh, like i think i'm missing something here like the label here so this will be the spend history so you can actually have a carousel that's moving and uh pretty much you have spend history for every month i think the data is redundant in the server that we did on monday or, or the day zero so that's why this is happening uh, probably you can fix it along the way or tomorrow you can fix it um, so this is how the application has transformed till now now let's say i want to transfer the same bank i need to enter the destination account right so the destination account let me uh, take it from the server and this is my destination account followed by the amount i'll enter the amount as 500 bucks uh swift code it's not required i just added it for uh, like a little bit of uh, uh, understanding purpose so swift code is going to be um, jfk1 something like this all right let's confirm and it says that money 500 successfully transferred and if we go uh, to our server i'll throw, bring up the server here and automatically you can see that uh, Bharat, my balance is six, 9600 and the money has gotten transferred to uh, this person so basically this is the log ping that's coming and it says user uh, destination money to be transferred current user balance is 10100 and obviously the money has, has gotten transferred i guess right all right so if you can see here uh this is actually the last ping that is coming um so after writing to the file this is the money that's present now meaning that uh, the money hasn't got money has gotten transferred we have transferred 500 bucks so the difference is very clear 500 bucks is being transferred and this is going to be used in the next ping so basically this is what is happening uh, there are a few things that i would like to add i mean this is crashing obviously i would like to add a back button uh, that will probably take me back to the home screen and uh, probably fix few of these things uh, like in terms of the uh, the look of these things we'll try to push it to the maximum because i've been writing i've been working on this for about five hours now it's been i spent over five hours on this i don't want to spend any more time and uh, like i said the goal was to build an apk and try to push it in the, into the device so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to quickly build an apk and uh, probably you guys can see how long it takes i'll, I'll definitely give it a comment and it'll end the video right there all right let's go and quickly build i already had uh, i did a very simple build and build bulldozer in it and and started working on the uh, specs here so i added the the title uh, i just called it banco janko something like that and i also added a uh, few additional things here so i've added uh, uh, what are the files to be included basically png jpg kv atlas and don't forget the json file because json is not there right uh yeah so that's important and also make sure to add anything else to be missed out nothing else to be missed out and if you go down here the requirements is very very important we need to add what are the other additional requirements that is being used we are using the request package right so we should definitely add it here so once you add the requirements it's time to like now go ahead and build it and we, i'll come back to you guys and talk about how a entire building application went so the command for building is very simple it's bulldozer v android debug deploy run i need to have a connected device which i already do i'll start at the visor i'll show you guys how it is coming up on real time on this uh, probably and we can see for ourselves how this is behaving
so all right so after after running for about seven and a half minutes this thing is completed this build is completed and oh my god i think it went away uh so the application is showing up here the apk is built and i'm up i'm feeling pretty much okay now i want to test out the uh, functionality itself but there's one challenge here um like i still don't have the link of I, i'm not linking still to my server local server here i'm i'm actually putting it it was running in my uh, local host that's why i could hit it and work on it but since my uh, server is now running in a different machine i need to access that and run it so all of that is going to be happening tomorrow we just have few um, minor checks and add some make it look better i mean look at this this is not an application that i would ship out so make this look better and add a couple of more items to it and make it make sure that it is it's pleasing to the eyes all right so that's what we're going to be doing in the uh, tomorrow's video uh, final day for kiwi and uh, like i said the start of the series itself that the goal is not to build an application that is going to be like equivalent to a instagram or a netflix the clone is not the idea the idea is to see what is possible within the three days of time and whatever is possible we'll try to compare both of that in terms of uh, one person doing it and at the same time in person in, in terms of how good is the application uh, in in multiple factors right including memory zip utilization and how fast is it is is that is that uh, there any junk issues and all of that is was uh, the goal for this entire series so if progressed nicely to the second day and uh, today was really really hectic for me uh, like i said uh, about five and a half hours of writing code and making sure that it builds and lot of errors were hit in between i am looking forward to the th final day for kibi so that i can finish it and see what is uh, in store for flutter from the day four uh, really excited to see you guys in the next video make sure you are tuned in uh let me meet you guys there until then bharat peace out have a super awesome day